Hi guys, Steve Girardi here. Welcome to Steve Strings. Today I have another review video for you. In this case, it's a piece of gear. The folks from Van Goa sent me a pedal board to check out. In this case, it's the VPB L45. And I presume VPB stands for Van Goa Pedal Board. But um, I looked at it on Amazon to see the description and it looks pretty interesting. So let me go ahead and unbox it and share it with you now. Alrighty, so let's open it up. Okay, so for starters here, you can see that it comes in a carrying case. I think having a carrying case to come with a pedal board is a pretty nice feature because if you're playing anywhere other than your own living room, uh, you want to be able to transport all your gear. And you can see from the, uh, this bag here, first of all, it's got these little feet on the bottom to help protect the bag and what's in it. It looks like it's a Cordura type of material. It has a Van Gogh logo on it. It has a carrying handle with a Velcro piece. So that'll be comfortable to carry, particularly if it's loaded with uh, not just a board, but pedals and such. It also has a carrying strap or a shoulder strap rather that goes with it as well. And from the look of it here, it also has, let's see, a flap on the front which is zippered. You get a lot of gear in there. And let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. All right, and we'll open this all the way. And there you have it. You see the bag does open all the way, which is nice. And this is padded with what looks like to be about 10 millimeters or so of padding. All right, coming with the board, looks like we have the uh, hook and pile or or just a hook and loop Velcro type material for attaching pedals to the board. It also comes with these zip ties or zip strips. And also it has these little squares here, which are the, they have uh, like sticky stuff on the back. So you can stick them under the pedal to secure those ties or cables there. And then we have the actual pedal board. Oh, this is nice. Not only does it just sit in there, but it also has this piece of uh, Velcro that holds it in. So it's not gonna be rattling around in there. I like that, because you don't want your, your gear rattling around inside the bag that you put it in. So let's put this aside and take a look at the board, all right? So first of all, I like that it's, it's black because um, it's sort of a neutral sort of a background if you put the black uh, hook and loop on there, um, it basically it's not gonna be unsightly. You can see this is made of metal. All right, looks like a metal alloy. And the dimensions on this, I understand, are, uh, was it 11.8 uh, by 18 inches are the dimensions on this. And you can see on the other side here, it has these these feet on it, and they look to be sort of bolted in there. All right, you can see that they're bolted in. So if you wanted taller feet, you could take those out and put taller feet on. And that's something you might or might not want to do, depending upon how you rig up your pedal board. You can see this here is about maybe, oh, what is that? About two inches or so tall, uh, two inches and change from, uh, from the floor, okay? And so if you wanted to mount a power supply under there, um, depending on how thick your power supply is, you might want that taller. But if you have a thin power supply, that'll work. Or if you have a power supply you want to mount here with just a few pedals, that'll work just fine. So let me go ahead and um, uh, put some Velcro on this, uh, put some uh, pedals on, and see what it looks like all set up. I've now put the uh, Velcro uh, loop uh, on all of these boards across the pedal. And I'm glad to say that there was plenty of it. That I was able to cover all these boards. And you can see I put a few pedals on there just so you get a sense of, uh, of how they might go on. Again, these three are mini pedals and this is a multi effects pedal, but there's plenty of real estate to get certainly uh, the, the typical number of pedals someone might use. Also, I've gone ahead and uh, stuffed a bunch of things inside this case. 
And you can see that uh, this bag here holds a lot of things in there. I've got cables and some boxes and some other things. And also you can see here that this pedal is gonna fit in there with no trouble. I think you can see that. The bag is deep enough to have all the pedals on there and still be able to close the bag. There we go. Leave room for the strap. Strap that on. And there you have it. The pedal board in the bag. And can it close? Yep, with no trouble at all. So there you have it, the Van Gogh VPB L45 pedal board. You can see it's pretty good size, it holds plenty of pedals. It's solid metal, very sturdy. Right now it's on Amazon. I think the list price is uh, $89.99. At the moment it's 41% off, so it's $52 and change on uh, in December of uh, 2023. If you're looking for a pedal board, this is certainly one to consider. I hope you enjoyed today's review of this pedal board. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my reviews as well as the instruments I build, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.